wind kessel effect is applicable to large elastic arteries like aorta which are situated close to the heart they have more of elastic tissue than muscular tissue the term wind kessel comes from german language and means air chamber here is an illustration of the wind kessel used in 18th century by fire fighters the additional pressure build up in the air chamber will ensure continuous delivery of water for fire fighting a similar thing occurs in elastic arteries like aorta during systole more blood enters the aorta than what leaves the aorta because aorta expands this additional blood received during systole is released during diastole so that aorta acts as a second pump in diastole this is very important for coronary perfusion as coronaries get perfused mainly in diastole in systole contraction of the myocardium compresses the intramyocardial vessels so that subendocardial region gets more of blood supply in diastole so maintaining a good pressure in diastole is important for the coronaries so the second pump in diastole by the elastic aorta gives a boost to coronary circulation when elastic arteries become less elastic as by aging with arteriosclerosis of the aorta the second pump function or the wind kessel effect of aorta decreases that is the clinical importance of wind kessel effect now i will show a simple experiment to demonstrate what happens in wind kessel effect in this video clip you can see a tap being opened and the water flowing out well and you can also see that as the tap is closed the water flow completely stops in this second video clip you can see that uh, the outflow is occluded before the tap is being closed so that there is a pressure build up in the elastic hose pipe and you can see that when the pressure is released there is a sudden gush of water after closing the tap you can see that the tap is closed still there is a gush of water this illustrates the wind kessel effect occurring in the garden hose which is quite elastic this will not occur in a solid pipe made of pvc or uh, gi